Well, surprising news in the investigations of what causes Ebola and who is immune. It may all come down to a gene. WSJ Science Desk Bureau Chief Stephanie Ilgenfritz has the story and um, has managed to put this into, into English and is going to do it again for us as, as well. What's happening? This is to do with a disease called Neiman Pick Type C. What, what, what is that and how does it relate? So Neiman Pick Type C is a rare genetic disorder. It's what's known as a lysosomal storage disease. You toxins build up in your cells. And researchers have found a very unexpected connection between Ebola and this very rare genetic disorder that, that, has, that connects at the gene. And in sickness and in health, it's all about proteins, the gene produces proteins, and the protein that this gene produces is necessary for the Ebola virus to infect you. Okay, if you don't have this gene, then you don't, you, 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 you can't get Ebola, so if, right? Well, this is, well, we, we only know this in mice so far, and the next step now is to start looking at this in humans, but um, um, we all have the same genes. You and I have the same gene. Um, the problem with the, with the disease is if you have a defective one from both your, both parents, and if you have two defective copies of the gene, then you get Neiman Pick type C. And in mice, they found that mice that had two defective copies, equivalent to a child with this NPC disease, they survived Ebola. Okay, so let's um, let's take, take take us through that. We've got a graphic here which shows that if we, ha we have the genes, um, and it would see the red lines there, take us through this. Okay, so it's basically if you if you only if your mother and father have defective genes, will that be will will you have the Neiman the NPC right? Correct. Right. Your parents could be carriers, and they have one healthy copy and one defective copy of the gene, and you have a twenty five percent chance. If you have if each of the parents is a carrier with one healthy and one defective copy, they have a twenty five percent chance of having a child that has two then defective copies of the gene, and then you have NPC disease. They looked at this in mice, and in the mice they found that the mice that uh, had n two healthy copies of the gene, it gets confusing, two healthy copies of the gene, that they died of Ebola when they tried to infect the mice with Ebola. If you had one healthy copy of the gene and one defective copy, you're essentially like the parents, you're a carrier. Then you survived Ebola, more likely to survive it. Okay, so it's good if you have this, if, if, in, in a way, if you against Ebola, it's not good if you have it for other reasons. It but may that, be protective. So that could be the way, more, more important than that, is that, that could be the way to finding a, um, an antidote or a, a vaccine for this, right? And That's that, the idea. That is one of the next steps, is to try to find a way to block this protein, because the virus needs the protein to start replicating and infect you. Oh. So if you can't make this protein, which is the case with the children with the disease, then Ebola has nothing to use to replicate. So if you can block the protein, perhaps, you could slow down Ebola. And that, that, would be, uh, that would be phenomenal. I think we're all hoping for that. We're cheering on the scientists. Thank you very much. Long way to go. Stephanie Ilgenfritz of the Science and Health Desk. Amy Marcus wrote that story. You can read it online.